That one in the air between the two gullies and the three slips or the two slips. That's gone for four. That's the first boundary of the game. No third man in place. So good fortune for Sanat Surya. Sparring up the delivery outside of Stump. Very fortunate that the ball just went into the gap between the two gullies and the slips. The only area where there was a gap and uh, Sanat Jayasuriya picks it with the ball going in the air. So very fortunate for Jayasuriya. Picking up four runs in the process. So he's uh, served cricket very well so far. One cut away hard. Sanat Jayasuriya in his favourite area. But well, that's the area that Jayasuriya revels in. Short width and uh, opportunity to free his arms and he makes full use of it. He said very, very quickly to John T. Rhodes. And in the middle of the bat, powerful Rhodes went down to try and stop it. I think it bounced badly just in front of him. Your position spinners can use later on in the match. Not easy though. And that delivery just short outside off stump and that's the area that San Antonio Surya is looking for anything in that area he is very very quick to pounce on it seven overs Sri Lanka now 24 for no loss so the land flag fluttering away and uh, that was a last shot uh, by Sanat Jayasuriya a cracking shot on the back foot short fairly stretched bat and uh, beats the offside field plenty of open spaces there but Jayasuriya picks the gap perfectly and batting lucky John lucky boy okay, over pitched by Pollock there Shanti Rhodes was the fielder now, this ball was hit upishly and in fact put down by Rhodes no wonder the hands were on the heads of Sean Pollock there moment it one thought it was a bump ball but it actually went to him on the full and by John T. Road standards he'll be disappointed with that because this was the opportunity wickets of the new ball so important for the South Africans here Nothing going South Africa's way. That last boundary really tells the story. Really frustrating for uh, Sean Pollock and South Africa. Slower delivery, well watched by Sanat Jayasuri, just guiding it gently down. Very straightforward uh, feeling here, but the awkward bounce right at the end there, waiting Anthony. Plenty of dry patches in the outfield, and uh, that's that bad bounce which has uh, done uh, Makaya Antini there. That's nicely timed. A chase here for Adams. And this is another teaser. Once again, the ball will win, but it's made the fielder chase the ball all the way to the boundary line. Uh, so we're really not hitting it too hard just placing it through just a punch and uh, Paul Adams had uh, you know, felt that he could have uh, got to the ball but the ball really moving away gradually and uh, reaching the boundary yes uh, Adams won't want to stretch too much he's uh, back after an injury and this is a tremendous shot of the back foot no need to run for that Consecutive boundaries here for the Sri Lankan captain. Sanajaya Surya just getting behind that one and timing it all the way to the boundary. Didn't it too hard? Timed it beautifully. Getting the placement perfect. And right down to the boundary. Very strong on the square. Upside and he's given the room there. And punched it.
and three boundaries on the trot. The score motoring along at this stage, 64 for no loss, Sri Lanka. Last over, Jacques Keller severely beaten by Sanat Jay Surya. Beautiful shot through the extra cover region. Done. Well, Sanat Jay Surya in full flow now. Jay Surya brings up his 50 in style. That's a good shot. So good innings by Jay Surya. Runs were not easy to come by, but Jay Surya, as soon as he got into his stride, he's been on a roll. And that time, once again, the wet, the uh, ability to free his hands, and he sees the opportunity. A bit of a slice, but um, right through the infielders, taking the aerial route. And when he hits it, it stays hit. Very strong with that bottom hand of his. So that brings Jay Surya's 50. Well, he starts with a dreadful delivery. That's a full toss, almost waist high, outside off stump. And you couldn't ask for anything better than that. It's a bit of an anticlimax. Everyone's waiting to see how the pitch would respond. And uh, Paul Adams disappoints with a full toss, where the, the batsman really puts it away quite easily for four. Well, it's not going to turn much out there, Andrew. There's no doubt about it. And as expected, Sano Chaseria is going to fetch him early. There's no doubt. He's going to try and dominate him. And he's hitting for four. Second ball. That's two fours in a row. Strategy pretty clear from Sri Lanka. Well, the intentions absolutely uh, very evident. You could see the Sri Lankans looking to try and pick up as many runs as possible earlier on uh, before the uh, spinners look to try and dominate. Sana Chaseria taking the attack to uh, Paul Adams. And uh, he picks up the second boundary with uh, a shot he launches into uh, orbit wicket. Paul Adams is going to have his work cut out here. Jay Surya is going to look to attack him. And he's got that one away as well. That's gone through the extra cover field. And a run away. That's the third boundary in this over. So Paul Adams starts the first three deliveries. And the crowd here, yeah, well, they're enjoying this. They love to see Sanat Jay Surya. Yes, when Jay Surya is in motion, he really motors along. And that one pitched up and he cracks it into the vacant area bisecting the field is his timing's been very very good when he's on his stride now Jay Surya obviously is going to attack Paul Adams and, uh, the key is for him now is not to make a mistake he's done the hard work the first three deliveries he's probably mentally has the ascendancy right now what a bit of width offered to run Jay Surya and well any width to Jay Surya and that brings up the 100 partnership and a well struck boundary so the runs continue to come for Sri Lanka at a very very quick pace Jay Surya pitching into that one a lot of width and he frees his arms so the partnership moving up to 103 and he'll continue That's another boundary. Overpitched, and Jay Surya is a man in form. He's put that away comfortably. He's moved into the 70s with that shot. The problem that Paul Adam has, he's not set into a good length. He's really been uh, pitching it full or over pitching it for Sanat Jay Surya to make full use of it. A batsman in form. Yes, consistency is what's required now from the South African point of view. Too many boundaries have been scored. And that's another one. Now you just can't afford this kind of bowling, especially on the first day of a test match. 19 boundaries have already been struck. And uh, we've not even had lunch on the first day of the test match. Once again, over pitch. Nice, juicy half volley for Sanat Jayasuriya. Very strong. Right up to the uh, front foot and smashed it right down to the boundary. Well, what he's got to decide here is ball on one side of the wicket. Just get his rhythm going. Yes, he's got to be closer to the off stump. That's better. They go up for the catch here. All the close-in fielders go up. The umpire isn't interested. 111 for no loss. So 
um, peel for the catch. And going right through. May have to see a bit of a deviation right right at that point and may have come off the glove. It says Now that's frustration for the bowlers. He's taken the outside edge, but it's found the gap. There's no third man, so another boundary here for the Sri Lankan captain. We haven't seen uh, an outside edge at all. On that occasion, the ball taking the outside edge between the slip and gully and rolls all the way down to the boundary. Really cutting on that delivery, Sanat Jaisu brought forward. Nice line, nice length. Getting the edge by racing down to the boundary. He's gone after that one. You give him width, and he doesn't mind even taking the aerial route in a test match. That's reached the boundary in a flash. Given the width and the length there for Sanat Jayasuriya, getting under that one and smashing it to the cover region. Placed it well there. He's known to play it up and down there in the one days, but he's going through with it even in the test match. He's in good form. There's one bounce over the rope. One can't help but get the feeling that the South African bowling has lacked the discipline. The runs have come on both sides of the wicket. Too many boundaries hit. And he's now cutting loose here. Once again in the air, but once again he finds the boundary. Three boundaries in this over for Sanat Surya. He's raced into the 90s. The form that Sanat Surya is in, it's really not hard. It's not easy for bowlers to uh, really settle down. Anything loose, he really goes smashing it through. That's really not a delivery that would be smashed over the cover boundary for four. It's a landmark of uh, sorts about to be reached here. You don't often see a batsman getting 100 in a session in uh, modern day test match cricket. He goes for the single, he'll have to hurry. Jay Surya has reached his 700 in Test Match Cricket. Superb innings by the Sri Lankan captain. He just dominated the South African bowling in the first session and raced to his 100. Just 103 balls, 17 boundaries. Well, he took on the fielder here at mid-off. Makaya Antini was relaxing a bit on his heels. What an innings from the Sri Lankan captain. That's Apish. And it will reach the boundary. First boundary since lunch. That's the first real time Pollock has pitched the ball up a bit. No half measures with the Sri Lankan captain. Just a little bit of width there for Sanat Jayasuri and he really latches onto that one as he saw the width, went under it, over and out, over the cover fielder and brings him a boundary. Pollock really not too pleased about that delivery. He realized that he really strayed a bit there. Now that spanked of the back foot. Rhodes is there in the deep. And even he can't stop it. So he's having a torrid time out there, Jaunty Rhodes. He does seem to be in a little bit of discomfort. A good shot here by Jay Surya. Again, standing up tall. Good balance when he played it. Nice timing by Sanat Jay Surya. Didn't have much to really play around with that from a Jaunty Rhodes not being able to. Boya gets it up to Jay Surya, and I always felt it was a matter of time. As soon as he got it in third area, Jay Surya was going to have a go at it, and he's hit it well. This is why Jay Surya is always so threatening. Boy, at this time, showing some guts, giving the ball a little bit of air, but Jay Surya equal to the task, hitting it straight over the bowler's head. And he's quite prepared to take the aerial route whenever his opportunity presents. He's very difficult to defend. There's nobody back. He gets up there, he's prepared to throw the bat at it. And down he goes again. This one he's hit harder and flatter. 
and one bounce into the boundary boards. Well, Jay Surya certainly decided it's time. He's not going to allow Boyer to dictate any terms. So Jay Surya, after a quiet start after lunch, looking to break free again. This time bombarding the boundaries. When he's into the act, he certainly is on a roll. Jay Surya, well, just past Paul Adams and Jay Surya prepared to take him on. It's gone for four. Also, Jasuri is always prepared to take Paul Adams on. The intentions are very clear. There's no doubt that Jasuri is prepared to use his feet, go over the top whenever Paul Adams at the crease. Once again, coming down and then hitting it slightly officially in the air. Paul Adams, a valiant effort, but to no avail. Well, he's not going to let him settle his Jasuri. He's going to go after him from ball one. And Jay Surya goes for the big one. He's hit in the middle, and that's gone over the deep mid-wicket's head. It's gone all the way. at six more. So Jay Surya is not going to be kept quiet for long. Wax that one, all mid-wicket, and it hits the meat of the bat. There's a man down on the line, but that's cleared him for six. Well, when Jay Surya hits it in the middle of the bat, it stays hit. It goes with the wind. Uh, Surya sweeping and sweeping extremely well. Just has this uh, happy knack of picking up the gaps. Quickly picking up the length there, Sana Jayasuriya, and going through with the, with the shot. Just getting the gap right there. Right the fielder down there, two fielders down and there. We're still attacking. Still attacking on the onside. That's the second time he's found the boundary in the over with a similar shot. Adams giving the air. Sanat Jayasuriya making full use of that length and going through, sweeping well. Picking the gap, there's a fielder down at the backward square and the one in the mid wicket. But he picks the gap and all the way down to the line. Yes, this is a very good shot because there's a man near the empire at square leg. So he's got to clear him. He's got to place it away from the man in the deep. He's done that too. And again, this is up in the air. He could be out caught here. And Jay Surya's innings has come to an end. He's taken on Adams once too often. Mackenzie making no mistake in the deep. And a fantastic innings from the Sri Lankan captain comes to an end. 148 of just 156 balls. Paul Adams still giving that extra bit of air. On that occasion, a bit from the off, the off stamp. And then he's very pleased with his uh, performance. Sanat Jusuriya gone. 148 Sri Lanka, 211 for two.